Welcome back to Data Cloud Now's coverage of Snowflake Summit in Las Vegas, the world's largest data and AI conference. As you can tell, I am on the show floor where I am delighted to be joined by Christian Roming, CEO of Etleap, along with Shane Brass, lead data engineer for Boost. Gentlemen, great to have you here. Christian, let's start out, let's start out big picture. What are you most focused on in relation to overall trends and what's top of mind from your perspective? So for a really long time, uh, well-intentioned data engineering teams have been super overworked. And I am really excited that we seem to finally be getting to a point where uh, these data engineering teams no longer have to be the bottleneck, right? They can actually build out a data platform uh, together you know, with Snowflake and uh, ecosystem partners like us to um, completely, well, to build platforms basically that can, that can let uh, data consumers self-serve. So that way they're no longer the bottleneck. So let me give you an example, right? So um, somebody wants a, uh, uh, to publish a new data product on top of Snowflake. Right. Um, now they can just do it themselves, right? Before the engineers would have to write code, no longer so, right? Now they can just, um, uh, they can just self-serve. Um, another example, you know, somebody wants to get a new data set into Snowflake so they can join it with data that's already there. You know, like, here you go, here are the instructions. No code for me to write. You know, very much data collaboration, ease of use, an exciting next chapter. As you can tell, we're surrounded by that next wave of, of data collaboration. Christian, from your standpoint, what excites you most here at Snowflake Summit? So, uh, I mean, aside from the energy, of course, that's, that's number one. Uh, all of our partners are here, right? Our BI partners, our, our consulting partners, uh, they're all here, that's really cool. Uh, so we get to meet them, we get to meet folks from Snowflake. Um, we get to meet uh, potential uh, new customers, uh, you know, hear their stories. We get to meet with existing customers, hear their stories, hear their challenges. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's pretty amazing. You know, Christian, it is great to be joined by one of your customers in Boost. Shane, from your perspective, what excites you most about the Etleap and Snowflake partnership? Yeah, this has been great. Uh, we actually met at last year's summit um, in a full circle, we're here again. A year uh, ago? Yeah, wow. absolutely. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, we were looking for a reliable way to ETL data into Snowflake, and we found the perfect partner. They've been great to work with. We got up and running very quickly, and it's made a really big difference in our tech stack, so it's been awesome. Talk about data collaboration happening in real time. Who, who would have thought a year ago you'd be standing right here, Shay? Exactly, I agree, it's perfect. Um, Christian, would love to get a little bit granular with you and see a quick demo of that. Like, do you think we can show the audience a quick sure. demo? Does let's, that work? Let's do it, let's do it. All and right, so, bring us on in. So we'll actually show you uh, uh, a use case that's uh, similar to, uh, to Shane's use case, actually. Um, so we're going to, uh, uh, you know, one of the things we do at Atleap is make it super simple to get data into Snowflake. And a really popular data source that people have is, is Postgres. So we're going to show you how to get Postgres data into Snowflake. All right. So uh, we already have a Snowflake connection set up by a partner connect, so that's already done. Uh, so now I'm going to set up a connection to our Postgres database. So I can select here, I can click Postgres, I can give it a name. Uh, and then I'm going to connect, we can connect directly, we connect using SSH tunnels, and then every single step here that you see is validated. So every single time I input something, we validate, we make sure it's correct, so that uh, you know, when you move to the next step, you know, you know you're in a good shape. Right, so then we're going to go with our conditional. These are all kind of standard uh, Postgres uh, connection settings. We're going to go with our. Uh, we're talking about easy use here. This is really easy use, and now we decide how we want to capture changes. We can do SQL queries, but we can also do uh, Postgres uh, wall logs to get CDC changes. This allows us to get deletes and get really granular changes. We have a document, we have everything, all the steps document how to set this up, and then we also validate it. So when you click next, you know that everything is ready. So the moment you start those pipelines, they will start capturing changes right away. So it looks like we're all good. We're going to create the connection, and now we can move on to the next step. These are all the tables that we have here. This wow. is a small uh, you know, web store that we have as a demo, and I want to get data from all of them. So I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to create a new schema in Snowflake for my data to live in, and then I'm going to create this schema. This kind of gives me the overview. These are the uh, table names in Postgres. This is going to be the destination. I click Create Pipelines, and then we're going to wait a, a few seconds for, for everything to be configured, and then boom, we have wow. four pipelines. We are ready to go. Data starts flowing into Snowflake. That's it. Just, just like that, just like you're that. ready to go. We're ready to go. Wow, Christian, thank you so much. This is great. I mean, it's all happening here at Snowflake Summit. I love getting the opportunity to talk with founders because you're able to see things before others can. 
I have to ask, why did you decide to found at Leap over just about a, a decade ago, give or take? It's been about a decade, yeah. Yeah, so back in, back in those days, uh, I was really frustrated with how much engineering work it took to get, uh, to, you know, to get data teams productive, right, and, um, and uh, basically build these pipelines that they needed. And uh, and yeah, you know, that's that's really been our focus at Atleap. Uh, you know, get things up and running quickly, and and uh, and have them be super reliable. All the pipelines be super reliable, and and for data teams to be able to self serve. And um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's what we're all about. It's a lot of. Modernization that we focus on, right? Um, uh, these legacy stacks with a lot of heavy code, right, to get up and running, and uh, turning that into sort of a snowflake-centric, um, low-code, uh, cloud-native, uh, cloud-native setup. Well, Christian, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm looking forward to having this conversation next summit and to see what kind of customers you were able to to find at, at this year's Snowflake Summit. Christian, always a pleasure. Sorry, thank you.